Hey everybody, Randy Walker here on Labor Day Saturday at the 2022 U.S. Open. I'm standing uh, on top of the stands here on court, court, on court 12. And uh, the grounds are packed, there's great buzz. This is really one of the great days to come out to the U.S. Open, Labor Day weekend, Labor Day Saturday. But as you'll notice there on, on the courts, uh, 15, 15, and 14, which are three great uh, small viewing courts. There's no play there. And, um, you know, one of the things that is kind of interesting, this is such a big day of tennis with so many people coming up to New York and US Open for Labor Day weekend. But there's a little bit lack of content based on uh, when the doubles tournament starts, when the mixed doubles tournament starts. So as you can read my article on worldtennismagazine.com, um, I'm suggesting uh, that the USCA should start the doubles competition uh, a day or two later, maybe when the second round singles matches end and pushes some of that doubles and mixed doubles content into Labor Day weekend so there's more matches for people uh, to watch. You know, the crowds are just buzzing here. Uh, there's a lot of people here. Uh, but there's uh, some of the courts are really crowded because there's just not a lot of matches going on. There's there's only 10 match courts going on uh, today, and uh, you know as you can see these uh, three popular courts are are not, are not being used. So uh, a suggestion to the USDA to push the start of the men's and women's doubles and mixed doubles competitions to start after the second round singles, or maybe even Thursday, uh, you know, halfway through the uh, second round of singles. That also gives opportunity for players that lose early, lose early in singles to uh, normally want to hang around, maybe get a little bit more money, uh, you want to experience more of the US Open, and then they'll say, hey, well, I wasn't planning on playing in the doubles or the mixed doubles uh, until I lost in the first or second round and uh, maybe I'll stick around for doubles. Stefano Sissipas, you know, was uh, upset in the first round of singles, and he stuck around, and he actually got in as an alternate uh, with his brother and got to play in uh, the doubles uh, tournament. So, um, you know, I think if, uh, if there was a delayed sign and a delayed start to those competitions, you'd have higher quality, bigger name players also playing in the doubles and also playing in the mixed and would give all these amazing fans a little more content to see here on Labor Day weekend, Labor Day Saturday here today. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll loosen up some of those crowds that are uh, uh, straining to see some tennis on some of the other courts. So anyway, check out my article on worldtennismagazine.com and uh, over and out from Labor Day Saturday at the 2022 U.S. Open.